years ago, we offered a process called my book of positive aspects where you take a page and it can be a person, it can be an experience, it can be a job, it can be anything. And just take your best shot at writing the positive aspects. Because when you look for aspects that feel good to you, you're sharpening up your bag of marbles. And when you do that, the law of attraction will not let you down and you will have a conscious awareness that you just did that. I it in my bag on purpose and almost as soon as I turn around, something reflects that. And when I'm aware of it, I'm empowered. But if you're just running around talking about things you want and things you don't want and how things are and how you'd like things to be, then you've just got such a mixed bag going on that it feels like it's chance or it feels like somebody else is doing it when nobody else is doing it. Not ever. It's all 100% you, 100% you. What kind of marbles do you want to put in your bag? Don't you want your marbles that are in this bag to match up the marbles that are in that bag? What do you think's in that bag? What do you think your inner being is focused on on your behalf? What's in there? More money, more opportunity, more rendezvousing with more people, more ideas exploding into the room, more fun every day, more free time, more time to do what you really want to do, more freedom to choose your projects. You get to have it more your way. And this conversation is about you deciding to do that. You deciding. You decide to stop arguing for your limitations because it's not necessary and it doesn't serve you and nobody else cares. Esther found herself because everybody that she loves went off and did excursions five days in a row. Esther didn't go. And her daughter Tracy said, Oh, mom, I just hate going off without you. And Esther said, I just love that you're leaving me here. <laughs> she says, the first time I've never had split energy. I have no split energy because I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm uncomfortable going. I have no split energy. And then she thought, why do I have to hurt myself in order to give myself permission to do exactly what I want to do? Instead of pleasing everybody, doing what everybody else thinks I should do. In other words, you have been so specific about calibrating yourself to the other people around you that you're leaving so much of what you want out of the equation so much of the time that you got tension. And then you got all these ways of explaining it. Well, my mother raised me that way, or that person demands that of me, or it's the way it has to be. We say, really? In other words, you guys got to lighten up. You got to be more self aware. Self interest is a real thing. And it doesn't mean be inconsiderate of others. You can't be inconsiderate of others. Your inner being is considerate of others. So if you're inconsiderate of others, you won't feel good. But let what you're thinking about be about you're finding your alignment, not about you trying to make something happen. The law of attraction is what's gathering it all up. All you are is the pointer. And we're just asking you, point where you want to go, unless where you are is exactly where you want to be. If where you are is exactly where you want to be, then say, look at that, look at that, look at that. Selectively sift. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I like that, 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 I like that. Because you know what? You can't stand still. I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. Law of attraction is going to bring you more like that, more like that, more like that. Different faces, different places, but more like that, more like that. But if there's stuff you don't like, look over there. Look over there where what you've asked for has already gathered into a big glob of point of attraction, gathering together all of the cooperative components, you see. This is the real deal. This is how worlds are created. This is what you came for. You didn't come to regurgitate or to report. You came to create. And in the doing so, Jerry said every day that Esther knew him, she'd see him before a workshop go off and she knew it was going through his mind. Sometimes he'd say it right out loud as they were walking down the hallway. He would say, I am an uplifter. And everyone who comes into my sphere, we're calling it a field of attraction will be uplifted as a result of their encounter with me. 
and no one will be diminished as a result of their encounter with me. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a powerful, deliberate point of attraction? And you could take it further. I'm not going to hurt my heart anymore by pushing against that. I'm not going to watch that thing on television that makes me upset every time I watch it. I'm not going to do that to myself anymore. What are you going to do today? Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. What are you going to do? I'm going to be deliberate. I'm going to look for the lovelies. I'm going to comment on the lovelies. I'm going to look for the uplifters. I'm going to appreciate my skills and I'm going to appreciate the workforce and I'm going to appreciate all of the opportunities that are out there and I'm going to match myself up with the best of them. And I'm going to see myself growing and expanding and I'm going to see myself eager on my way to work and I'm going to see myself satisfied as I'm moving toward the things I want. And I'm going to see a steady progression of all of the things that I want. I'm going to feel good to be there because I realize I'm going to spend a lot of my time doing that. And I want to feel good in this lot of time that I spend doing that. I'm going to look for their positive aspects and I'm going to practice them when I'm not with them. And I'm going to look for their positive aspects and I'm going to practice them when I'm not with them. I'm going to fill my bag of marbles so full of the positive aspects of everyone that I'm going to encounter on a regular basis for darn sure. And then I'm going to watch the law of attraction reach into their sphere and bring that aspect of them to me until that is the relationship that I have with that one and that one and that one and that one and that one because that that's the relationship I practice because the law of attraction is a real deal. I'm no longer going to walk through life and say, you, I disapprove of you, change. <laughs> Makes me feel bad when I see you doing that. I'm going to practice my bag of marbles until the law of attraction doesn't let me see that. I don't see that. Esther really relates to this. Have you ever gone to a furniture store? It's Esther's favorite place to be, really. She likes it almost as much as a vortex. <laughs> and when she goes to the furniture store, she will say to Tracy, who is usually her partner in crime, who goes with her, her daughter, she'll say, we're only looking for lamps. Do not call me to see anything but lamps. <laughs> Because there are a lot of things in that store and they get so distracted about so many things and then they lose their focus. Only lamps today. I don't want to hear about a table. Don't show me that rug. I don't want to see that picture. I don't want to see that sofa. Lamps. We're looking for lamps. Well, that's sort of what we're talking about. You want to use your focus to identify how you want to feel. And the law of attraction will bring that and that and that and that and that. Most of the time when you hold back, it's because you are sensitive to how others will respond. But it is a holding back. Everybody is where they are and that's okay. And it's not your job to fix it. It didn't need to be fixed. You're not the stage manager. You're not the law of attraction. You are a participant in life experience and your wheelhouse, your awareness environment is between where you are and what's in your vortex and your movement toward that period. This is an environment based upon the law of attraction, not the law of getting rid of things. <laughs> There's no exclusion. You can't push anything away. And when you try, then you spend time trying to justify why it was a good idea for you too. You see, you do have a lovely point of attraction and then something got in it that didn't feel so good that needed to be rooted out. No, no, just not amplified, just not encouraged, just not growing. Just let it be what it bees and let it be all right. See, your inner being doesn't exclude things from its point of view. Your inner being just doesn't push against any of them. Your inner being does something that most humans aren't quite ready to do. Your inner being loves it. Your inner being is so good at finding the positive aspects of things that no matter how many negative aspects there are, your inner being always finds the positive and hooks up with both. And that's what you want to do too. We're not asking you to look at the details of anything and say, I like that thing that I don't like asking you to selectively sift the details that you do like because you live in a world with billions of other humans who have come with different intentions they have different beliefs they have different desires they have
they have different vibrations going on and you just want to calibrate your point of attraction to the things that you have figured out that you would like to attract into your experience and you don't have any responsibility to change anybody it's like you want to say if you were different then I'd let you in but you're not different so stay out well that hurts you that hurts that's what this is all about that's painful you see you're in pain anytime you're not loving and if someone is unlovable they'll look for someone who's lovable you're going to be a lover because you're born to love but what's happened since so many humans all really have calibrated to each other somehow you've come away with the broad premise that it's your job to love each and every one of them and love each and everything about every one of them well law of attraction does not go like that because you can't attract wanted and unwanted at the same time so just let it be just let it be and you know what the easiest way to get there is to adore the diversity of your time and place adore the variety adore the different points of view adore the vortices that are being born out of your differences look at what's going on in your world today so many people so fearful that someone else has the power to mess up their experience when only you have the power to mess up your experience only you have the power to mess up your experience because the other theory which is totally bogus goes something like this if others have the power to mess up my experience I must control them which you can't do so then you feel broken or inferior incapable of not being able to control something that was never your intention to control what you want to control is where you look what you want to control is how you feel. What you want to control is your calibration between you and the source that is you. You don't want it all to be gone. Just the parts that aren't a vibrational match to what feels good. There are many positive aspects. If they're not easy to find, then don't look for them. If every time you look for a positive aspect, you stumble over a negative aspect, then cease the search. But we know you're hearing what we're saying. Nothing goes away. Nothing goes away. You've either made vibrational contact with it or you haven't. And it's all right that it's in your bag of marbles. You see, you activate it every time you talk about it going away. Back. Every time you say, it's gone. No, it isn't. If there's something over here that you don't want to make vibrational contact, what do you do? You make it with that or that or that or that or that or that. It's complicated the way people believe. It's complicated the way they behave. It's complicated the way you mix with them. It's complicated about what they want and what something causes them to react to in a moment in time. And all you can do is be there and be as best as you can be in that moment in time. You can't snap your fingers and be somewhere else. And you can't demand that they be something different. But if you could just love them so much anyway and don't show any disapproval of how they're being because they're not being that way because they want to be that way they're being that way because something caused them to feel that way and they'll get over it or they won't but the important thing is what you're doing in it you didn't come to save this world it doesn't need to be saved you came to observe it you came to come to new desires for yourself but you didn't come to fix broken things or to focus on broken things. You came to align with the fullness of who you are and live in the moments the best you can and uplift everywhere you can the best you can. And that's got to be good enough because that's all there is. You are the keeper of your own point of attraction, period. And that's the stuff that happily ever after is made out of, you see. And we promise you, Everything else will take care of itself. Everything else will take care of itself.